Hi, it's Seth from Sealrite Corporation, manufacturers of the Packrite bearing and high performance mechanical packing. Here today for the Pump Seal channel to briefly discuss lantern rings. Lantern rings, lantern rings, lantern rings. So, what exactly do lantern rings do? Lantern rings are the method by which a tool we use to get flush water down to the shaft surface of rotating equipment. Used in conjunction with mechanical packing. There are many different ways and manufacturers of lantern rings. We happen to be one of them. Most lantern rings you will find from the manufacturer are made out of steel, aluminum, be made out of brass or Teflon. These are just some examples. This one is a solid lantern ring here. This one is split Teflon. All right, lovely. I'm sure we've all seen them. Then there's ours. This is the one that we manufacture here. As you can see, it is split and it has a very unique design. There we go, got it. Uh, it has a very unique design, uh, much different from a lot of other lantern rings that you're going to find. The reason why we developed this is because we saw uh, that there was the need to get water to the shaft as fast as possible. This design will do that. Not only that, the structure of the pillar itself is uh, can withstand a lot more pressure inside the stuffing box from the mechanical action of the packing being tightened down um, as well as this design helps prevent clogging we have seen a lot of issues with this type of lantern ring getting clogged the ports themselves are very small sometimes these channels aren't deep enough whether it be on the od or the id and again, with this one right here, there's only four holes for the entire circumference of that shaft. So our point is, hey, let's get water to that shaft as quickly as possible and do the best that we can with this design to prevent any clogging. All right, there's my sales pitch for the day. So lantern rings themselves, like I said, they are designed to get water to the shaft. However, what we have found in the past is that there may have been improper installation uh, for various reasons, whether it be that the lantern ring itself wasn't sized properly for the piece of equipment or whoever installed it didn't do their due diligence prior to and make sure that the configuration of that packing set coincided with what was actually in that stuffing box. Most of the time, I'm guilty of it too, we'll take whatever the model number is on that pump and say, well, I know that's a 2L3. What that means is there's two rings of packing at the bottom. The L stands for the position of the lantern ring, and then there's gonna be three rings on the outside of that lantern ring out to the out to atmosphere. It's always a good idea to take a look inside that stuffing box, take some quick measurements, get the position of that lantern ring correct. Why, what's gonna happen? Well, there's a lot of different things that can happen, but most notably, you're not gonna have that lantern ring in the optimal position. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to refer to my lovely drawing here. Thank God I'm in the ceiling business and not a professional artist. So as you can see, I set up my rendition of a stuffing box. You have your shaft here. This is your box right here. This is where your gland studs are. And then each one of these X's represents a little packing. And then right here is your lantern ring. So ultimately what you want to do is get that so get so that when you install the packing that this lantern ring lines up properly with your flush. It's kind of relative because some flush ports are wider than others, more narrow than others. Even from similar pump models manufactured at different times, you'll see some variations. That's why I say it's really important to get in there and actually get a good look at where that flush port actually is. If you can affect it at all, what you want to do when you get to the installation process, understanding you have your first two rings, we'll just go with a 2L3 design. We have our first two rings. What you ultimately want to do is to try to have that lantern ring a little bit forward of the flush port. If I was going to go one direction or another, whether I sink that lantern ring far in or closer to atmosphere, I'm going to go closer to atmosphere. Why? As you start pushing on this packing with your gland follower over time, tightening up, what's going to inherently end up happening to this, this flush, uh, to this lantern ring, is it too is going to move in this direction. You could end up running into a case where if you installed it 
too deep into the box that you actually push that packing so that it falls somewhere here in your flush port. At that point, then you're not getting adequate water down to the shaft and you're going to cause a lot of problems, overheating, things like that. One of the big things that will happen if you did not install this properly, this flush port here is blocked, is you're going to get leakage on the OD. So anytime you see leakage on the OD, especially at the gland, what that tells me, two things, could be two things. Could be that the placement of my lantern ring is not correct or I have too high a pressure. That'll happen too. So, so by doing your proper measurements, installing that correctly, at least you can rule out that it's that it's the the lantern ring is not properly aligned with the flush port pretty simple now that you've seen my beautiful artwork i've explained some of the things with, with lantern rings the different materials what they're actually used for again i can't stress enough just make sure you place it inside that stuffing box in the proper place it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches again i'm seth from the pump seal channel and seal right corporation thank you for your time